Yoro Toro, what's going on? Give us a second. Andy's uh, setting the lighting really nice. Yes. It's super romantic. Mood lighting. Chris, don't look at the camera, bro. Just the eyes, eyes on the road. road. Eyes, eyes on, on the road. road. Flex, don't text. No one knows about that, but that's my thing. It's cool. We're trying to create a movement here. How we doing, Tara? Good? Is that tea or coffee? Tea. Tea? Tea. Tea. Okay. That's good. Brown water. Brown water. On mute. Yeah, no, no. I had coffee first thing, and now I switched to tea, just herbal tea. Okay. All right. All right. Any special flavors like petunias and bees? I think, it's like, I think it's like sleepy time vanilla, which I probably shouldn't have in the middle of yeah. the day. <laughs> Sunday morning, sleepy time yeah. vanilla. <laughs> That's a pre-workout mix I've heard. Although maybe I need a coffee because I got on two hours ago and I was like, where is everyone? And I'm like, <laughs> okay, I, it, I can't figure out Central and Mountain Time. <laughs> yeah, we should put all the times down, but we don't. Um, right. Funny enough, I get those notifications that someone joined from the day I send the email out, the <laughs> one today, like constantly. And it records it every time the person gets on too. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> it's great oh that's super. yeah it's like it's like delete 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 it's pretty funny so i saw you this morning i was gonna jump in and just say hi but i was only on for like two minutes i'm like why am i the only one here <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny yeah. all right all right um pots how you doing i'm doing good we're gonna get joined by my dog here Come here, bud. he's a champ just like everyone else you go all right so it feels like it looks like I'm just kind of look here. Most people don't have their cameras on. That's cool. It's okay. Um, welcome to the party. It's Sunday. It's December. Can you believe it's December? Yeah, it's December, which is my go to month for turning up the dial. I know it seems it might be like people wait till January, but I start uh, looking at and planning the new year in December and I start, I actually don't plan it, but I work towards it. Yeah. And then I do actually more planning in January. Yeah. But I prepare my body more in December. Yes. Like I do a lot of movement in December where a lot of people put push pause. I, I would recommend you guys keep at it yeah. in December. I, I actually, when I was training, especially when you live somewhere warm, I did my most training in December and January. Really? Yeah. Okay. It was the best time of year. Like, and it wasn't super hard stuff. It was just more about time yep. and moving. And I would, I mean, I'd ride my bike five, six hours a day most days. So there's a couple of um, tidbits why this is powerful and why it works is because you, you guys do some of your best thinking when you're moving. Yes. Right. In the movement, in the doing. And you can come up with sometimes I, I find like when I like whether I wake up from uh, a night's sleep, I have some pretty bad ideas yeah. when I'm resting. Yeah. They're not they're really not great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do better thinking and have more like sound judgment with my ideas when I'm moving. Yeah. I mean, after you finish a ride and we weren't together or I finish a ride, it's always a phone call. Oh, yeah. yeah we always call each other. Dude, I thought about this. I thought about that. Yeah. And we just make a list and we yes. go through it every time. Yes. A very rarely, I could do the same thing when I wake up, but it's usually a whole bunch of terrible. Yeah. Usually. Very right. Very, just very, a whole very, bunch of, not even, not terrible necessarily. Maybe a whole bunch of meh. Yeah. Like, uh, you just didn't suss that one out. Yeah. That yeah. was at 3 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we got some new people on today. Uh, we got some old faces. We got our crew. Let's go. Um, here's the deal for today and every day. Today, we're just going to talk about some random things we got on our mind, some team logistics stuff, um, maybe a special topic we thought about. We're also going to update you guys on things, but we're here to really answer questions you might have to ask us anything, logistics, training, racing, whatever. So um, if you have questions, you can just speak up, no problem, unmute for everyone that's muted, ask your question, we'll go away or put it in the chat. We're on a phone today, so it's harder for us to look at the chat, but we can still do that. Um, so please throw them in. You can throw them in at any time. Um, for these as well, if there's ever something special you really want us to talk about, email us before because we will talk about it. Glenn, you got something? Or you just give us the twos? I think she's saying bye to his wife. Oh, okay, cool. All right, awesome. Got it? Everyone cool with that? Awesome. 
All right. So you want to start off with some logistic stuff? Yes. Let's go logistic yeah. number one. Okay. It is holiday season, whether you celebrate all the holidays or none of them. Yep. What we have here at AP Racing is a secret Santa. We do it every year. Gail is so awesome and she runs it. Um, if you want in on the secret Santa, it's really low cost. I think it's like a 10 or $15 gift or something like that. Not try related. I, I got a pair of socks when you're candles, cool stuff. Um, you can email her. It's gail 29 E at gmail.com gail 29 E at gmail.com. This is in the Facebook group too. all this information, or you could just find her on DMS and slide right in there. Um, it's super Did fun. You just say slide into the DMs. Yeah, bro. What's up with that? That's young. It's young. Yeah. It's lit. Oh, it's <laughs> lit. There you go. Double young. Yeah. Dude, I really like your fit today, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's go. All right. So that's that. If you have questions on it, just email or text or DM Andy or myself. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to get in touch with us, um, I get a lot of messages on Facebook Messenger. Your best bets to email or text me directly. I don't check Facebook Messenger regularly just because there's a lot of spam that comes in there. I'm in a ton of it. So please just text or email us. Okay. Um, we will check it. I get to it, but it's not always as quick. Um, next thing, in the holiday spirit and the giving spirit, Andy and I are offering up a special Christmas special. Um, you've heard of 25 Days of Christmas. We have 25 days of swim analysis for $25. That doesn't mean you get 25 days of swim analysis. It means if you'd like to send us a video of your swimming and us to critique it, not even critique it. Just check it out. Feedback um, with the right recommendations and protocol on the right steps to augment, change, uh, suggestions, and um, kind of like a, a role, like a just a list of like here are the three things. To think I, about. I find that when you get too many things to work on, you you can't do any of them right. You yeah. get a smaller list, you can start to execute better. Um, and then we, we can volley it back and forth. Yep. And we'll just do it. And we'll yep. send that information about this, but it'd be 25 bucks swim analysis done and done. I think that's pretty cool. If you're coming to our swim camp, which you all should be, because it's awesome. You're going to get this anyway, twice a day, every day. Let's go. Um, cool. Um, next we're just running through logistics here. If you got questions, let us know. Everyone always asks, um, like, hey, partner specials, partner deals, sponsor deals, right? We're still um, – I can't see them. I know, but I, I was going to chat. Okay, he's checking, checking chat. Sorry. Um, we're still working out our final deals for the year. Um, I think I told you guys before, it gets real complicated because of this guy. It, all right. It just takes a little longer. So you can use all of our current deals right now, which are on the team page. They're in the Facebook group. There's a, a file for it. And somewhere else, too. I have to think about where, though. I don't know off the top of my head. But usually around mid-end of January, what we do is called a partner week. Oh, and yes. every day we highlight a new partner. We do an extra special promotion for that week. And then we hand out the codes for the rest of the year. Oh, you have a very nice dog, Alicia. What kind is it? Hey, buddy. He's a micro mini sheepy doodle. And this little buddy, we call him Endurance Pup. And he does oh. all, like all my runs with me. <laughs> oh, wow. So he, thinks, he thinks I'm about to do a run. That's why he's in my lap because I'm like in a gear, <laughs> in the t oh. typical gear. <laughs> That's awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah. I same dog. Yeah. Not your dog, but the same breed. Really? A sheep -a -doo? A sheep -a -doo. Yeah. Um, a mini? Um, yeah. Sheep. Yes. Yeah. So mine's he the micro mini just means he's 20 pounds. Yours is probably like 40 pounds. Yep, yeah. and he's crazy. Oh, yeah. does he run with you? Uh, it, with my parents, he runs everywhere, including under trucks. Yeah, yeah, he's very. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's like, I want to be part of the conversation. I want to be part of the great days of January sponsorship. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know it. You know it. Let me tell more info on that. So every day, special, <laughs> special promotion, different sponsor. We'll talk about them highlight them tell why you should use it or not and then we'll give the codes for the rest of the year it's usually mid-january um yeah so some of the codes you'll notice just as a heads up some of them will have uh an expiration date kind of like a store 
so you'll have a code and say, hey, we're going to open up the store for two weeks. Um, jump in if you need if you need anything from whomever. Yeah. Um, a lot. This is what we're seeing. A lot of partners move towards just as a heads up. Um, instead of a blanket code, they're trying to, whether they're trying to like, trying to make sure the codes don't go leak. all over the place. Yeah. Right. And it's making sure codes don't leak and yeah. it's not just open season on discounts. Yeah. So they're trying to protect their stuff, their MSRP. Exactly. Yeah. Or their margin. Yeah. yeah. More of their margin. Well, those are business terms. We're doing yeah. business. Whoa. Here. It's amazing. Wow. All right. So. With that said, it'll be about January, and everyone's been asking. They always ask, and I always delay, but team uniforms and kits. Store should – it was supposed to – I was supposed to have the link by today for you guys. I do not. I'm just waiting for them to finish building out the stuff. It took us an extra two weeks to get a final partner finalized Okay. Um, to be, be able to make the kits. So that's why that is. Um, typically, like we said, it's like eight weeks for delivery or so from the day of close. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be a problem. It might even be before that because a lot of times we work out deals with them to get it before. But it's coming. Well, I promise. Yeah, the big kicker for us was camp. Like yeah. Really pushing it so we get it by February. Yeah. Um, which hopefully it'll be in plenty of time for your outdoor adventures in yeah. 24. And to – ease people's minds and give a little more oversight. Typically we have two, sometimes three stores that you can shop in. And this year it'll be the same thing. One was the hat store, which we're still haven't hit our minimums, but their the, minimums are kind of high, they're really high. Um, so, so we're struggling. I, we had a conversation about like, what did we goof this year? And maybe we offered one too many hats. So the minimums yeah. are getting a little bit thin, but I think we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. But if you want an extra hat, go to our site, our yep. team site, and order another one. That would be helpful and awesome. Um, so we have the, the hat store and accessory store. Then we have um, – we're going to have a casual line store. So run apparel, hoodies, uh, other hats. Um, yeah, it's run stuff pretty much. Compression wear, things like that. This one's kind of cool. This is a new partner for us this year. They're going to do um, – do any of them have a minimum? Um, yeah, want, there's like one or two pieces that have a minimum that we'll pre-order. The rest are going to be onesies, twosies. So like it's – On you. When you want – if you're like, hey, I'd really like to get a new run top for the marathon I'm running. And then, then we can or like you can order it. Yeah. Um. Is it on demand? Or, on demand. Yeah. On demand. Yeah. And and this one's this one. Uh, Daniel's underselling. I I actually really like this partner. We're uh because of the fact that it's going to be rolling. Yeah, you can get whatever you want, and it's like they don't have the window. And yeah. It's, they don't have the minimum. Um. Yeah. It should enable a lot more flexibility for you, and that's really why we partner. With yeah. Yep. What you'll see is like the quality super high. Yep. Um, cost is a little higher because it's on demand and it's high quality, but it's a good trade off. Um, the stuff's great. Yep. Tends to run a size small. I found. I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. About a size small. Yeah. Um, and then the last is our team gear. Like, so like, um, try gear, swim gear, run, um, cycling gear and that'll open up this next week is that behind the um not sure okay yeah so we do have a store that we have more or less on the site that's password it's behind the the password yeah was that the firewall Fire. paywall 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 yeah paywall um and that one we those are the things that maybe you need for training that um like in the past, it's been Wahoo stuff, or it's been like helmets, helmets, glasses, trainer, Wa yeah, watches, electronics, Wa yeah, yep, stuff. and then, and then stuff we had left over, like inventory, and then, and then we also have another way if you need wheels or anything. Uh, we've had a partner in the past. Hopefully, they'll jump on board again with Vision. Yeah, and it's happening. Awesome, and that means like if you need race wheels or training wheels or new bar setup. Um, we that will be through Daniel. That yeah. one, uh, we had a code get disseminated too far, and they are now saying we will only deal with Daniel. Yeah, although I think we do have a code again right now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, 
there's one on the site. You can use it. If it doesn't work, you just contact me and I connect you directly and we just make it happen. We were, um, yeah, that was an, that was an issue. Um, that's any questions on that stuff from you guys, Kara? Um, oh, Alicia, Alicia, go. Yeah. I was just going to ask because I've been working with TJ and it's like, I'm going to do the vision setup. And it's like, so it's like, I'm working, um, he's doing all that. And I told him, I said, well, it's like, it says that you need to talk to Daniel. So I guess TJ knows what he's doing or it's like, there's yeah. nothing else I need to do on that. Yeah. So if TJ has a relationship with vision, it's why we work with both of them. Okay. Okay. Great. So get you the price and like if you look and it's not 40 percent off be like tj we get 40 percent off you need to yeah oh, i told him 30 i need to <laughs> i need to probably bring that up so it was 40 yeah if you want to double if you want to run it back yeah. to, um say hey this is you know is the vision stuff all 40 percent off through ap racing yeah um and tj's really good with that because he has a partnership with vision as well yeah and and he also wants to do like that, that the right build for you. Yeah. And his, uh, his bike was 30%, I think. Yeah. That's about right. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. He's, like, he, and his, he, I mean, he's the owner of the company, but their margins mm -hmm. are regular bike. They're all custom made. Mm -hmm. Um, so what bike did you end up getting? The icon. Ooh, the icon. That's the one mm -hmm. with the bottom fairing that's a little mm -hmm. it's flared out in the bottom yeah yes that one's fast i'm super i'm super excited about it i told him i was like i need to have it done by mid-january so i can have it for camp <laughs> all right, all okay right. but i just can't figure out the extensions because he's asking he's asked me like the which extensions vision to do um it's like because i'm doing like which is the metro pro or something and i'm like well i don't know what to measure on my current bike to get that so it's like any idea Yes. Um, I really like the one and it's got a, so a lot of, you can, you'll notice it with the elbow pad. There's one mm -hmm. pad. There's a lot of pads that are um, normal in shape. And this one has a little extension that kind of goes up. It looks like a upside, like a, maybe a B or a P. Okay. And it has a little bit bigger pad. And if you pass me your phone, I can actually yeah. show everybody. Yeah. But she wants to know how to measure the length. Oh, yeah, because um, well, because there's three different links, and I have no idea which link to get. So I was okay. like, "Do I have to measure my bike?" Do I? It's like I don't know. Or do I measure? Okay. I guess do I me measure my little arm right here. <laughs> um, I ride. I want to say I ride the 105, and that's the uh -huh. long one. I'm uh, six three. I have long arms. You're six two. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> six two and seven eight. Yeah. So. Yeah. Six three, but officially, yes, I am six three. So, um, how, how tall are you? I am five nine. Okay. All right. Yeah. I go, the, so. I go medium to the long. What the long allows you to do is lay out a little bit more on your fit, and it gives you a few more. Options. You can always choke up. Whereas yeah. a short extension, you find that your limbs hang off the end. And you dangle, whereas I'd rather have you rest in the setup. Okay. Cut those or not? The ones that I ride, you can, you could potentially cut the top, but you don't really cut them. Okay. And that's yeah. make it so you don't have to cut them. Yeah. Yeah. He said it's a 265 milli at milliliter, 265 millimeter, 285 millimeter, or 305 millimeter. I ride 305. Okay. You might be with medium. the two eighty fives. That the medium one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You could also measure your reach from your pad to the end of your bar on your current bike and compare because that's where the insertion. Yes. Yeah. So this is so this is my pad. So it's like this is like the closest to my my body, and this is going towards the my stems. So I would measure from the closest to my body to like where my stems yeah. are now. Go center to center. I would go okay. center. Yeah, center okay. up. And okay, then, perfect. yeah, millimeters, uh, like 10 millimeters is a centimeter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that, well, it is it, the it, magic it, system. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. It's it base 10. Yes. Okay, all right, yeah. cool. Yeah, so, yeah. but no, but yeah. no, I'm super, super uh, excited about it. I get to pick the paint uh, soon, too, so. What color are you going to go with? I'm thinking about going up the black to white gradient, where it's black on the body, bottom, and it fades up. 
That's cool. The other thing to ask TJ is for everyone else on here too. He used to have a special if you bought. There's an AP Racing bike Correct. with color scheme too, and so it's still a little cheaper when you package it. And so if you yeah. like that. Do that. I'm not saying to oh, get the color. Oh, what color? I wonder what color that is. Do you know what color that is? Here it's purple and blue, right? But it's like a purple fade, to, like a blue fade to purple or purple fade to blue. Yeah, yeah about that. <laughs> My girls wanted me to do a blue to fade to purple because one girl's favorite color is blue, the other one's purple. And so they said uh, I could do that. <laughs> so that's <laughs> ironic. <laughs> that's awesome. And Chris, she is talking about the diamond, the icon uh, mm -hmm. bike. Yeah, it's the fastest bike they make. It's pretty. Um, I think the mogul. Is oh, the mogul's faster. The mogul's a little faster. Okay, all right. Tiny bit. Um, pots. I'm no pro. Or, or <laughs> yeah, and anyone else. Um, or, Alicia, will you ride that bike on the trainer at all? Oh yeah, it's got. It's like I I will ride it on the trainer, and you have to let him know because he he has to do a different through axle. Yes, through <laughs> axle. You're gonna need a piece. So the the connecting piece. You're gonna have to go saddle to the bottom bracket. It's your seat tube that he mm -hmm. it it's, it's an external rod that goes and makes the ride stable. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's really difficult to ride on a trainer. You feel like you're gonna fall off. <laughs> but but he has the piece, and you know it's where am I? There you go. Uh, this is terrible. Yeah. Yay, big. Why do you blur yeah. the back? I don't know. What do oh. I do? Yeah, we're going to fix this. So you fix it blurred. Yeah, we don't yeah. unblur us. Right, get the um, effects. Oh, that's, I don't know how to do it. Uh, actually. Oh, oh, there, there we go. go. There we go. Hey, look, now we're, now we're both. It's like that iPhone commercial where they're like, I'm in focus. You're in focus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be bottom bracket to uh, saddle and yeah. it okay. will. Uh, attach externally um and he has a mechanism for it and then it rides uh like like yeah. should cool and then you have to take it off yeah. ride it outside yeah oh yeah 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 yep. <laughs> i just started really making sure that it's like because i got so i get so fitted on um on the bike that it just makes no sense not to be riding while i'm racing inside correct yeah, absolutely correct absolutely mm -hmm. um okay awesome i'm very excited mm -hmm. for you anyone else that Thank wants you. to die now we'll make it happen um all right if you have more questions alicia just ask happy to answer um partner deals gear store um okay if there's any questions post them up oh we did mention it this is the time of year that everyone is thinking about their year yep thinking about their training thinking about what they're going to do next year one of the best ways to do that is find guys that made a lot of mistakes and have learned from them and have us help you. Okay. We can help training, coaching. If you ever want the help, we are here. Even if it's just advice, you don't have to be coached by us. Please ask. If you want to upgrade your coaching to the best coaching in the entire world, we have it available. Um, and like our cheapest thing is what? three ninety nine for the year for a completely yep. custom plan. Yep. And for all you guys, if you upgrade, you get a credit for whatever team you paid for. So you paid 189 I think, for most of the teams. Um, you get a credit for that for your coaching. So it's awesome, inexpensive, and wonderful. Um, we're not going to tout our coaching anymore. We're going to say, this is the time you're thinking about it. We're here. I know Chris loves it. Right, Chris? Best ever. Do not unmute. Just keep on driving. Two, I'm on the road. Two hands on the wheel. Hey, here we go. <laughs> got an assistant. I thought it was a propped up phone. All right. Okay. Oh, we'll watch our languages. Kids in the back. Sorry. Yeah, I did see them. Buckled yeah, up. they were buckled up. I saw. Yeah. Them. Yeah. All right. Cool. Next, um, I, I'm gonna at, talk about off season for a second. Okay. We might go to off season. We might go to swim training. Okay. Um, so a lot of people like I just had a conversation with a bunch of my athletes, and they're like, "All right, it's the off season. I really want to work on my speed. I want to work on my." threshold i want to work on my ftp they want to work on like five things they didn't they didn't even have time for to work on during the year yeah. and it's like oh i can do this i want to weight lift i want to do this and it's like you didn't have time for that before how do you have time for it now so like oh i want to take naps i want to like <laughs> i want to do all these things right so like i think what you need to think about when you're thinking about your off season is what is the one thing i really want to do 
or the two things and prioritize it. Make the main thing the main thing. Yes. Um, I had an athlete once that like not even off season during the year. He was lifting, he was getting massage, he was dry needling, he was rolling, he, he was weightlifting, and he wasn't training. He what? wasn't he wasn't riding his bike or swimming, but he was doing all the other things. He was getting double plated carbon shoes. He was doing double all the plated carbon shoes. <laughs> he was doing everything, but not training. Um, I think I told you that you know the story. One year when I was trying to really race well. I spent half the off season oh, designing yeah. a paint scheme for my bike instead of training every day. I would just design the paint scheme and I was like, Oh, this is good. I'm going to be pro. It's pro. I didn't train. It doesn't work. Yeah. So pick the thing. Me personally, this time of year, I know a lot of you guys ride inside. What I like to focus on is being in the pool because you can do it in the dark. You can do it in the middle of the day. Correct. You can do it all the time. You can find teams to do it with. It's not weather dependent and it's not weight bearing. So you limit the ability to get hurt. Correct. It's really good. If you live in Southern California, Florida, you can use the bike a lot more too. You can, but again, like Daniel said, um, we just have shorter days and with the pool, like it's a safe environment um, in like you're either AM and PM you're, you're, the the periphery is is the shoulder of the day is taken care of yeah and here's one thing that i like to how i like to compartmentalize in my brain on keeping the main thing the main thing so let's say um i'm working on my whatever yeah let's say it's my swimming okay i'm gonna work on my swimming i'm gonna work on um not only my efficiency but also my um, my power. So it's my efficiency, my power and how to develop power, how to work on my uh, technical um, where I'm inefficient, how to make it more efficient, how's my body position, all these things. So I prioritize that. And then as my time, as I start to get a handle on that efficiency and power aspect, I look at the parentheses. Okay. So then I start to go, okay, I, how about if I get to swimming five minutes before I I'm going to get in the water. I know I'm getting in the water. If I'm going to use the five minutes before I'm going to go five minutes early and I'm going to do some activation. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm like, okay, then I start activating well and I'm executing a better swim workout. Always. Yes. Okay. Then after I start executing a better swim workout, I feel like I'm growing in my capacity. Right. But my time is still fairly finite. And I try to carve out five minutes on the, backside yeah and these are the parentheses so like how are you taking care of the meat of the thing which is the swimming yep and then oh can you show up five minutes before and activate yeah can you show up can you stick five minutes after my yeah five minutes after and stretch yes so then and then then you start to go okay am i doing the little the details the little things to work on the main thing and you're bleeding out from it and yeah and it's a total accordion thing and that's where you work on the parentheses but before you can get to the parentheses, you have to do what's inside. We have to do the main thing, yes. dude. Absolutely. And, and this works in your workout too, right? So like you have your main set, right? Okay. And he's saying in the parentheses. Yes. And hundred percent, dude. Yeah. Yes. And then what you do is you expand the warm up and the cool down and the preset. And those get longer. The main set could stay the same. Yep. It's the outside. Like, like, People don't believe it. Like when Andy and I, like we get into it, it starts off like your warm ups like a 500 or a 400 and the reset's short and the main set's like 2K, 2,500, right? But then as the year gets on, like at the, towards the end of the year, the warm ups 2K, the, the cool down is 2K and the main set's 2,500. And so like the outsides get bigger and bigger. So it's the same thing out of the pool to in the pool and while you're in the it's pool correct. as well. Correct. Well, also look at, think about like on the bike, yes. like I'm, oh I'm time crunched right now. I've got an hour literally to hop on the saddle. Okay. My hour just shrunk to 55 minutes. Where am I going to uh, lop off some time? Okay. Wait, I know that I need, it's going to be a 50 minute workout. Yeah. I got an hour and now I just turned to 50 just like that. Yeah. Okay. So then you're like, okay, where do I shorten the, the it was, you know, the main set was three by 11 minutes. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep that 33 minute main set. And then we're going to go, we're going to yes. lop off 10 minutes of the warm up and five minutes of the cool down. And yeah. boom, boom, boom. There's a 48 minute workout. You still got the meat yes. in 
and next time you'll do better. Yeah, and like on the bike, it's the same way as a swim. As the year goes on, like uh-huh. your body, you're doing more work, you're doing harder work, your body gets tired. So like the warm up, I mean, there's sometimes we warm up. Chris has got a bike. I just unloaded a bike. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Is he taking it in to a shop? Garage. 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 Good thing he took it off before he ran into the garage. <laughs> the good call, Chris. <laughs> Yeah. So, all right. So on the bike, like beginning of the year, your warm up's probably 10, 15 minutes. Or if you have a short workout, like Andy's talking about, there was times what we, we warm up for an hour and we're like, uh, I think I need another an hour. And we warm up for another hour. And it's like a two hour warm up just because you've worked so much. And we could talk a lot about this as the year goes on, but your body needs it and it takes a while to come around. And this is how you extend your workouts yeah. too. It's not fluff, it's real work, but it happens outside. Mm-hmm. which is really important yeah and like we understand that like and on the coaching side of thing we understand that there are lots of pulls at your life and people tugging for your time but when you carve out more time for yourself some sometimes it the it, it, it goes in the, it goes it comes and goes in waves yeah and i guess ultimately what we're trying to say is you're not alone even on I'll tell you from my personal experience on the professional side where like literally this is what I have the day designed and set up to do. It's still difficult to carve out the time. You're not alone. Um, And then once you get more physically fit, you get more mentally fit and then you're able to like kind of, you you could do it. It's easier. It just becomes easier mentally. I think that I think the higher hurdle is the mental hurdle to say to yourself, I don't have time. And because you're fatigued, because yeah. you are feeling the workout, you're feeling the week, you're feeling the month. So, and as you get more and more fit, you have this mental acute, like this robustness that can handle more work. Yes. And the other part, and I'm going to kind of circle back here for yeah. a second with the uh, this time of year, right? And like January. The most important you can do, and I tell all of our athletes, is routine and figuring out your routine. Because mentally, if like you're doing bikes on Mondays and then next week you're doing them on Tuesdays, next week you're doing them on Mondays afternoon instead of in the morning, I know life happens. It's really hard because it takes a lot of mental energy to prepare Correct. for that. It does. So if you could have a routine as best as you can, I do this every day, every week at this time, more or less, it's going to help you. So like this time of year is for figuring out routine. I tell Every one-on-one athlete that I have, hey, if we can't figure out routine, we're going to lose, and this is never going to work. So we spend mo- a lot of time figuring that out. Um, I, I like that yeah. mostly because if you lean on the lowest common denominator, I think that we as people are creatures of habit. Yeah. This is like a dumb yeah. example of this or story, um, but it's funny in my own way. Andy and I and this other guy, Brian, used to always climb Pikes Peak on, on like Tuesdays, I want to say, or Thursdays. I don't remember. Whatever. It was Thursdays, <laughs> right? And we go up every Thursday. Sometimes like – I don't know if you ever did. We go up twice. We just do it, right? It's a long climb. It's a pretty big hill. And we'd be going up and people would be driving up and we get to the top and be like, oh, my God. Is this like a bucket list thing? You guys are doing this? I'm like, no, it's Thursday. And because like we didn't have to think about it. It's just what we did. Yeah. Like you got on your bike and you went there and that's what you did. So like you have to kind of create those things. It tricks yourself to just doing the work too. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, the other thing with this and everyone asked about like going back to my athletes or athletes are like, oh, I got to do yoga and hot yoga and all these other things, right? If you can move well, it helps you move fast. Right. It's so important to be able to move well to move fast. And but it doesn't take a big lift. Like Andy said, it could be just on the outside of your workouts. You're doing a little bit of mobility. What we were doing right now is Andy and I found we came up with all these movement protocols and we found videos like YouTube videos that are 10, 12 minutes long, eight minutes long, five minutes long long. for like before bed and in the morning. So like you wake up, it takes you six minutes to do some mobility, you do it and and you just turn on a video and like you do stuff like that. Again, it's those little things that don't take much out of your day. Here's another one I showed Andy the other day. I put, I have a slant board. Who has a slant board? At least you have a slant board or do you use one? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Do you know what it is? Okay. 
I put one in my bathroom right by my um, oh, yes. vanity. Yes, you're telling me this. He's brushing and, his and teeth. And I, when I brush my teeth, I shave, I wash my face, I just stand on the slant board. I don't have to now dedicate time the rest of my day to do it. I just do it while I'm doing that. These little things are good. Oral hygiene hacks. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Shiny white. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, I, yeah, there is something there. Like, I, I, I like the mobility piece, especially as, you know, I get older. I, it just takes me, I'm happy to be awake and I'm happy yeah. to get moving. Yeah. But like I'm a little bit stiff in the low back. Yeah, yeah. And in my in my just the posterior chain in my hips. Yeah. Like little, locking in the hips and tight in the low back. This mobility routine that I've I've established. Yeah, primo. I'm, oh, so good. Yeah, so good. We're gonna start doing our own videos, but until then, we found all the people that are doing all the exercises we wanted you get people to do, and that's what we use, and that's what we send out. It's yep. great. It's super yep. easy. Um. That's all I got on that. Let me check our chat box. I thought I saw them coming up. How do I do it? I don't know. Damn, scroll. Make it work. I don't know. Make it work. I'll just start pushing. Put, yeah, there we go. There we go. Chat. Yeah. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> back for me. Yes, Chris, hundred percent. Um, yeah. My 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 dad. He's really funny. He says, "You ever see that?" Um that poster with like the evolution of man where it's like uh, yes. on all fours, caveman solely standing up. He goes, that took him like 50,000 years. He goes, I do it every morning in under five minutes going to the bathroom. <laughs> um, Chris, honestly, the trick, um, this isn't really what it is, but it's to lubricate the joints, which means. Yes. Move yes. You, like, every morning you should wake up a five minute routine and do it. And just always kind of be doing it. It'll make the world a difference. Yeah, it's that spinal mobility. Then you look, you go. I, I, it's kind of like lumbar spine mobility. Then you look at hips, shoulders, and then knees. And a lot of people who have spinal issues or like not real issues, but like tightness here, mm -hmm. a lot of it's coming from hips. Yes. Or it's yeah, it's mostly hips to be like that's where a lot of your tightness in your back comes from hips and maybe hamstrings because of the pulling, but usually like originates in the hips. Hips. Yeah. Um Did this post it somewhere? Um the videos? Yeah. Yeah. For we, all got, of our we got we got like a webcam in your bedroom. <laughs> it's yeah. posted in their training that we give out to our athletes. Yeah, in training piece. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But we have also on Andy YouTube channel, we have probably 150, 200 um, like strength training exercises. It's not as much mobility; it's more strength training. Like how to perform, how to execute a deadlift, how yeah. to execute a pull up. Yep, like snatch. Yep. All the exercises that we use in our strength trainings are in those videos, or are on those videos too. But it's not the mobility stuff. If you want them, send send me a note. We'll send you some out. You can check them out. It's quite fun. Um, all right. We didn't really get into swim like technique stuff, but we talked about training a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about your off season and setting it up and kind of what you should and should not be doing. Does anyone have any questions as we're going here? If you get while you guys think about questions, I will give you one swim tip. This is something that I've been thinking about in the water this past month is like what, I would like for you guys to try to think of once your hand goes in the water, you you need to move it. You need to go straight back with it. So hand goes in the water and it goes straight back because water's 800 more times dense than air. And it's not always stationary and you're not physically anchored to anything. There is movement. So there's external, internal. Are you pitching your hand? The big key is keeping the palm facing towards your feet in a straight line. It sounds really simple. It's not simple, but not easy. The way I think about it is I'm saying bye-bye to all the people behind me. Bye-bye. I'm going faster than you. Bye-bye. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. yeah. I try to use the, the, the verbiage of move my body past my hand. Yeah. Um, and I really try to anchor my yeah. hand. The, that's kind of the words I use. It's not, really what's happening but that's how i frame it in my brain yeah um and the good uh example for that okay, yeah. is 
think about when you climb a ladder, right? Your hand goes here, you grab, oh, right. and yeah, then yeah, your like body a... moves past your hand, and then you grab again, right? So it's not your hand pulling your body up. It's kind of like your body moving past your hand. Your hand stays stationary. It's the same thing in the water, right? Your hand anchors, your hand anchors stay st stationary, and your body moves past it is the way you got to think about it. All right, and then I'll give you guys an elevated look of that same piece. Yeah. The elevated look is, okay, if we know that your hand is going into the water and the and your palm is facing the back the entire way down, fingertips down, palms facing your feet in a straight line. Now, the next tip is, and we see this with a lot of people who like to reach over the water. So they're coming on their, on their recovery. They're reaching past their hand. And what ends up hand, happening is the hand goes in and then they come up. And you see my palm. Tipsy doo. And then, yeah, here. Uh, yeah, that one. Uh, okay, left hand. Right. Yeah. So my hand goes into the water. Look at the steepness, and then it goes flat, reachy, tipsy, elbow back. Oh, what happened? Now I grab, and where's my hand? It's at my shoulder. So what I'd like for you to think about is, you. I'm a. I'm a. This is my new thought that I'm going to teach and coach for 24. Okay. okay. I used to say your, your paddle is your elbow to your fingertips and don't break your paddle. What's breaking your paddle left really cocked, really one way or the other, right? It left. looks silly, but people do all those a lot. Yes. So don't, how do you not break your paddle? I'm going to allow everybody we work with to break their paddle. If they break it like this hand a little bit, you're allowed to have a little bend. From your wrist, you used to forward. yell at me all the time for that. For this, okay. Now we're gonna work on that. This slight pitching where you go instead of hand flat, you're gonna pitch down just a little bit, so it's kind of a cup, just a little bit. Not you're not this, you're not here, okay. But you're allowed to have a small break, yeah. And that will get you to pitch your shoulder up and pull back. What's happening is we're getting people to break their hand the other direction, and then they leave with the elbow. But if you put your hand Hit your head down. Just see this, like boom. It's like, oh. sorry, sorry my you're yeah, good. His arms are really long. Okay, there. You're, you're allowed this. Yeah. That's the angle, not this, and definitely not that. A little bit of this. Yeah. So as your hand comes in, boom, whoosh, you're on it, and then you're moving your body past your hand. And the way he does that, for anyone who has a hard time with it, is he articulates his shoulder. Oh yeah. Just a little bit, like to his ear just a little articulation and that creates this it's not by like doing this it's it's with it's with the shoulder that you're able to articulate up like that yeah so i'm watching all these really uh fantastic swimmers what are they doing really well and it's that anchor point yeah. and there is a small articulation of their wrist when they're entering and who are the really good swimmers right now i'm looking at uh, uh katie ledecky i'm looking at um, still Michael Phelps. I'm looking at, uh, there's a really good American swimmer who's a little bit older. He's retired now, but Peter Vanderkay, I'm watching his stroke, I'm watching, um, for the older group and, uh, people in the chat, uh, Ian Thorpe. You were going to say the torpedo. Yeah. He's I'm looking at Ian. What, and also another Aussie Grant Hackett. What were they doing? Yeah. Um, is it ahead of their time? Is it just some nuance? That it's a. It's about feel, and they have a slight break. There's another woman. Her, she's a, a Brit. Her name is Rebecca Adlington, and she was the heavy favorite in the London Olympics to win the 800 freestyle. And she ended up getting beat by this young 15 year old, who was Katie Ledecky. I and think she's the best right now. Hey, in it, yeah. Hey, even better than yeah. a lot of the men. Like the yeah, way she yeah. does it. The way you watch Katie, how she uses leverage in the pool. Yeah. So swimming is a tall person sport. She's not crazy tall, but her leverage is fantastic. Yeah. Was she six foot? Speaking of speaking of swimming, did you guys catch Dressel? Um, I think he was doing the fly. i it's so impressive. He's like as old as us, and it's like, oh, he's still winning. Uh Caleb's like 26. No, he's so, not. Is he really? I thought he was like 40. 
No. No. no, no. So, okay, Caleb, then now I'm not impressed. <laughs> uh, he should still be impressed. He's amazing. Caleb's, Caleb's fantastic, and he's on the upswing. Yeah. I think he has a real chance to get closer to where he was in Tokyo. Um, but I want to say Caleb's 26. Yeah. Nah, maybe not that old. I think he's that old. Is he? Yeah, I'm going to Google. <laughs> All right, Google him up. All right. Um, you keep talking. Yeah. So that is the one thing that we're going to work towards. If you guys have a chance to Google any of those people I mentioned. 20, 27. Caleb's 27. Yeah. So I'm 20 years older than Caleb. He's way faster. Than yeah. He, he's, yeah, way faster. Um, <laughs> uh, but awesome to see his 100 fly, his 100 freeze on the upswing. Yeah, I watched You it. ever see him jump off the blocks? Oh, yes. Video of it? Yes. It, that's the most impressive thing out of everything he does. Yep. It's sick. Like his distance, his power. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I think there's a YouTube like it, like sports science one on it. Look it up. It's really interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay. All right. All right. What do we, I thought I saw somebody pop, pop in the chat box there. Dude, you don't know what the hell you're doing. I, I don't know. I don't know technology. Yeah. Make it work. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is the question. Okay. Anyone yeah, ever? Else? I got you. Oh, okay. oh go. go. All right. Talk. Just say it so everyone hears. All right, I, I was say. asking if I was asking if anybody had ever done the any of the boosts in their infinite formula. There's like three boost options, and like when is it appropriate to do any of them? Type of thing. I did a joke first, so. sure. It's like Super Mario Brothers. You always boost, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> now go ahead. And okay. <laughs> um, I want to say the three boosts are beta alanine, which is a proven. International uh, Olympic Committee has put their uh, green stamp of approval on this being totally legal as a boost or as a supplement. And what it does is help buffer lactic acid. It's wonderful for training. What you need is six weeks of using beta alanine to start to um, adjust to it in, um, at the cellular level. Once you've adjusted for it, you don't need to race for it. You need it more in training than in racing. It's not necessarily a, a distinct performance enhancer in a strict performance yeah. day, but what it does is it sets you up for success through um, consistent, steady training with it. So do you want to continue to use it in racing? Yes, uh, but it's better for your training than for your, specifically for your racing. So that's beta alanine. That's a boost. I use it. The next one is creatine. Creatine is at, at um, certain dosages is, again, there are five supplements uh, recommended by the International Olympic Committee as being totally legal and performance enhancing. Creatine, beta alanine is one. Creatine is the other or another. Creatine, it helps with um, ATP production. And your ability, like think of your cell as its ability to squeeze, okay? When you exact everything, it kind of squeezes. What ATP does is it makes the squeeze stronger, all right? So you're able to get more out of each contraction and, and uh, higher energy production, more efficient and higher energy production in the mitochondria, all right? Creatine, it, it's not just for strength and power sports. It is for an endurance sport as well. That's where the new science is saying the past dozen years. Yeah. It was in the late 90s and early 2000s thought of strictly as a uh, strength and performance sport, uh, or sorry, strength and power sport supplement. Now it's extending into, because um, it's not necessarily, necessarily associated with weight gain. And it extends into uh, endurance sports. It's a great supplement. Uh, lastly, the last boost is um, is it the oh, it's CoQ10. Yeah, CoQ10 is a supplement that actually helps with heart health. So this is something that you may be able to externally supplement if you wanted to with CoQ10. But if you're going strictly off of what is performance enhancing and scientifically proven with double blind studies you're gonna i love beta alanine and i love creatine um oq10 is nice it, but it's not uh pr it's not proven to enhance performance it could be proven to enhance your um 
overall well-being, but not specifically your performance. But then you can tie a correlation in with if your overall well-being is stronger, then maybe your performance will be better. Just to complete the circle here, the five supplements that the International Olympic Committee has uh, put their stamp of approval on that are totally legal and they have no restrictions on, again, they're beta alanine, creatine, nitrates. Nitrates are found in beets or uh, the supplement called Alt Red. Um, uh, next one is uh, caffeine. And uh, the last one is, there's five. Come on, I can do it. I'll, it'll come to me. Okay. It'll come to me. Anyway, there's five. It's uh, nitrates, creatine, beta alanine, caffeine, and, oh, um, it's, it's uh, amp human. Um, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, baking soda. What's the active ingredient in baking soda? Um, oh, oh my gosh! The act, I'm blanking on it. Yeah, the active ingredient in baking sodium soda. bicarb. Sodium yeah, bicarb. there, there we, we go. go. There you are, winner, winner. Okay, so what uh, sodium bicarbonate does is it um, it doesn't have anything to do with shuttling uh, lactic acid. That is what um, beta alanine helps with. What sodium bicarbonate helps with is the acidity that is produced through. Um, muscle contraction and, and, and high efforts. So it helps with your overall, the acidity in your blood, the pH, and it lowers the pH uh, to make it so you are able to do what you're doing a little bit longer. Um, the pathway for um, sodium bicarb is been shown to be better when it's topically versus uh, through the digestive system, the digestive system can promote a lot of intestinal um, discomfort and make it actually really uncomfortable. So you actually, your performance decreases. The other way to inject, uh, to get sodium bicarb in the blood, if it's not topical through amp human, then it is ingested, but they bypass the stomach and it goes directly to the intestine and the company that's doing this really well right now is no it's um what's the stuff that you get at iron man it's in a black package and a white package there's one with caffeine there's one without it's uh um, martin gel <laughs> martin gel so the reason it's in this like um wagulated gel not necessarily what we would consider as an old it's kind of like tapioca pudding and what it's trying to do is it's trying to keep the sodium bicarb intact and um so by the time it moves through the stomach it's not digested or broken down in the stomach which presents the discomfort from um the digestive system it goes directly to the small intestine where it can be absorbed into the bloodstream and that's how you bypass the discomfort this takes practice and a tolerance to maybe having an upset tummy. But if you're looking at professional execution, um, you're looking at Morton and Amp Human. Amp Human is probably the safer, more dependable, more repeatable way to get bicarb. Um, you, but you can also experiment with, and I think probably cost per, the cost is probably favorite Morton. I bet you the not cost is not. more with Morton, yeah. less with Amp, but the uh, applicability in, in race, you can't stop and slather your muscles, but you can take, and when you're having a long and four, four, 17 hour race, yeah. you're, you, you might want to do both. So there's your five. Sorry. Uh, total tangent. Um, out of the, the five, right? Yeah. There's, I've done there, there's two that enhance performance day of like you use oh, it correct it does it there's two out of the five which two are they uh, are you asking me let's ask I'm, them all right do you guys know which two help you on race day or in training in the moment caffeine caffeine yes 100 percent. definitely one. one more chris you had one of them Sodium bicarb. 
Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Sodium bicarbonate and nitrates. Nitrates, nitrates help yeah, too. Yeah, nitrates, nitrates help. Yeah, yeah. yeah, three. I'd say three. three nitrates. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nitrates will help there. There. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then there is a loading phase with That's what I creatine. Call. Yeah, with and a loading phase with beta alanine. Yeah. Um, there is. Uh, you can do like if you don't want to like if you just want let's say you want to do beet juice the morning of it will help. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It also if you do the the glass oh. like. It can present um, very G- ugly GI distress as yeah. well. That's why I don't think of it that way. Uh, like th- the, that's why I like the alt red. Yeah, I don't. I don't see that as a day of thing. But I, I think you're right. It, okay. What it does is it it dilates the blood vessels. Yeah. and it allows better shuttling of red blood cells to the demanding muscles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Red, All right. I'll buy that. Red buy blood it. cells transport oxygen. Yeah. I don't need that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, with your yeah. you don't. All right. Okay. So Ryan, boost up, buddy. That's what we're saying. And I don't think any of them have GI issues or any sort of distress with them when you take them in your in your in your drink. So like, I mean, I've never experienced. I it. haven't experienced it. Yeah, it's like you, you don't even know it's there. Correct. Maybe they don't even put it in. They yeah, I want to say the know. boost no. maybe with infinite. I want to say the boost if you get the twenty five serving one. I want to say it was three fifty a boost. Does that sound right? Maybe four fifty a boost. Ryan, are you looking? I can tell you in a minute. I'll put it okay. in the chat. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's that's cheaper than going to buy it. Yeah. Yeah. And you're just taking it while you're riding your bike or mm-hmm. running or whatever. So it makes it way better. Yep. And and there's less opportunity to forget. Yes. Yep. Yep. Cool. Okay. Go, go. Biology. <laughs> Biology. Yeah. I've been reading some books lately. Blow my mind. Not on biology, like physics. Oh. Oh, my God. I've been into biology lately. I, you're always into biology. Andy should have been a doctor if he wasn't a triathlete. Um, he's really good at that stuff. Really good. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome, buddy. Yeah. I always call him up in my health woods and he helps diagnose me. It's not a good dad. <laughs> I go to his dad. I every day I go to his dad's house. I'm like, hey, Dr. Potts, <laughs> can you please help me out? I got I got something right here. No. <laughs> there. He took stitches out for me a couple yes, like, yes. like two months ago. And he was like, he was like during Sunday football. So he was like, Drinking a beer, boy, and he comes over and I'm like, dude, no, 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 we're not going to do this today. <laughs> not today. All right. Um, okay, I think that's it. That's, Unless you guys got questions, Ryan, did you, were you able 350, to? 350, right? Yeah, it was 350 for the beta alanine and then 450 for the creatine out there of the go. 25 serving. So, okay, that's pretty cheap, I think. Yeah. Yeah. For 25 servings, depending on how last that long that lasts, like I want to say creatine for a month supply is probably in the 40 to $50 range. Yeah. Uh, beta alanine, if you're able to actually find it, which I had a way to find it. And I have the only way I get beta alanine is through infinite. Now I used to get it through an old sponsor, but they discontinued it. So yeah. if, if anyone learns and how to find it as a separate supplement, let me know. Yeah. Let us know. Cool. Any other questions from the from the the gallery here? Hopefully, we we'll learned something. Everyone excited for the holidays? Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Excited for the, the I hate to say off season, but this time of the year for their training, early season, prep. early season, yeah, prep work, prep, set yeah. up. Hope so. All right, that's all I got. Okay. Anything else? I got one more thing. During the holidays. It is sometimes hard to break away and take time for yourself. You're always concerned. Oh, it, a lot of people are concerned with the you know giving of their time and their mental energy. And it does pay to take care of yourself. When you do better, you can give to better. Uh, you can be- give better to others. So take time. Give yourself five. It's the old shirt. I can't believe you still have that. That's yeah. awesome. Give me five. Give for yourself. yourself, happy holidays. Have a great one. Twos. Later.